Hi you guys, it's Kaylee. Welcome back to my channel, or hi if you're new here. Before we get into this vlog, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. It's a great place to explore new skills or deepen existing passions. They have so many classes on everything from business to graphic design to social media to art. There's really something for everyone. It's curated specifically for learning, so there's no ads, and they're always launching new premium classes, and I love that it's affordable. An annual subscription for unlimited access to Skillshare classes comes out to less than $10 a month. They're offering the first 1,000 of my subscribers a free trial to Skillshare Premium. All you have to do is click the link in my description box down below. I'm personally really trying to learn a bit more about marketing for my business. Marketing isn't something that we've really been doing at all besides social media strategy, which I know a good bit about social media because this is obviously my job, but I feel like for a separate business, it's so much different than influencing, if that's what you wanna call it. So I'm currently taking a class called Context is Key, Social Media Strategy in a Noisy Online World by Gary Vaynerchuk. And I feel like this can tie into both of my businesses, which is super helpful. And I'm definitely going to be taking more marketing classes on Skillshare. Thanks again to Skillshare for working with me on another video. And now we're going to get into the vlog. So I'm about to go wake little Laszlo up. I'm home alone with him today. And I think it's day four with him now. Maybe it's day five. I'm kind of losing track. He has been the most perfect little angel his personality is definitely coming out a lot more though as he gets more comfortable he was pretty scared when we first brought him home understandably but still super cuddly he's really been doing so well i'm gonna get him out i think he'll need to go outside and we'll eat lunch and then when i can get him a little more settled probably for another nap i'll talk to you a little bit about him but before i go wake him up i'm gonna show you my outfit today i recently placed a nike order just to get some comfier clothes for like running outside because he has to go outside like 20 times a day and just for being more active with him. He's still a puppy so he sleeps a lot of the day but he's definitely going to be needing a lot more exercise soon. So I got this Nike black sort of windbreaker jacket and I also got these wide leg pants. He loves to chew on these strings when we go outside. He's so funny. But these are super comfortable. I saw these pants originally on Essence but they were on sale for like 50% off on the Nike website so I shopped directly there. That's what I'm wearing today. It's been so incredibly nice outside. The first day that we brought him home it was really rainy and I think that contributed to his scaredness of going outside and all the buses and cars he's so scared but now he's a champ he like woke up the next day a new man and now we go outside so much but yeah things are going really well and i can't wait to introduce you guys he's a little grumpy and sleepy i had him in his crate while i was getting ready because i'm home alone today and he was napping he doesn't go in there unless he's sleepy um, and he really doesn't go in there during the day much at all but this is laszlo he is the sweetest angel. Do you want a blanket, baby? I want to get the blanket for you. He's definitely very vocal when he's sleepy and doesn't want to get up. I know you can't see him right now, but I'm definitely going to insert a ton of clips of him. He will be nine weeks old tomorrow. He was born on New Year's Day, and he is a Vishla puppy. He's the sweetest. We brought him home from upstate New York last weekend he's so soft and cuddly we've been getting videos of him since he was about three weeks old that's when we found out that we were getting him but we didn't know which one he was and we were pretty much next to last on the list to pick he comes from a litter of nine puppies he was the smallest puppy but he was the first born and he was definitely one of the more mellow puppies in the litter. He had another brother that was pretty mellow, but the rest of the puppies definitely seemed a bit more bossy and playful. He's super playful still. He's just a bit more calm, and of course that might change as he gets older. I definitely would have been happy with any of the puppies, but I'd had my eye on him since we started getting the videos. One thing that I loved so much was that when they started eating real food and weaning from their mom, we would get videos of them eating and he would always have his entire body in the food bowl. So this guy definitely loves food. I'm not sure if he'll end up 
continuing to be the smallest in his litter. Lighting's changing, I hope it's not too dark. Yeah, he was super cuddly when we first got him. He slept most of the car ride home. I don't think I really got that many clips. We did try to get him out once to go to the bathroom because we figured he probably needed to go. And he got so scared, he just ran under the car and whined and it was the saddest thing ever. He was understandably scared though. It was a new situation and so cold outside, new people. But he got back in the car and settled and just fell back asleep for the rest of the way. And then when we got him home, we just brought him straight upstairs because it didn't seem like he wanted to be outside. It was also kind of rainy. But he was so scared when he came inside and had a couple accidents, which we were glad that he was actually going to the bathroom. But then he definitely started to get more comfortable. He slept in his crate the entire night. And then we woke up in the morning and he peed and pooped outside. And he was the new man. He started wagging his tail at people crossing. He's definitely not fully potty trained yet. We still have some accidents every day, mainly pee accidents, but I think he's really getting the hang of going outside. He started whining when he wants to go outside, which is great, but we try to be proactive about it. He has the biggest ears. They're always in his food bowl. He has some food on his ears right now. <laughs> it's so funny. The smushy, wrinkly face. He has his first vet appointment in the city next week in a few days. He's already had some vaccines. And he's also microchipped so that's good i know i'll probably get some comments about taking him outside before he is fully vaccinated we just stay on our block in like a small area of our block and just living in new york city it's so so important to start socializing your dog young so we're not using any potty pads and he's being so good he's had a couple visitors already and was a little bit scared but I think we're gonna have some new visitors soon and introduce him to some of my friend's cats. Maybe hang out with some other vaccinated dogs. But he's definitely getting so much more of a personality and getting really comfortable with us, which is great. And like I said, he's the cuddliest dog ever. I'm still having a really hard time believing how good he's being. I'm sure some things are gonna change as his personality comes out more. And he gets older but he's already staying in the crate at night for a solid six or seven hours i feel like i've kind of been sleeping with one eye open just waiting for him to whine originally i was thinking maybe i should proactively wake him up to take him outside because i figured we would have to be getting up every couple hours during the night to take him out but he's been so good no accidents in the crate and he kind of loves his crate one thing that I think helped so much was getting a snuggle puppy for him. I don't know if you guys are familiar with those. They're little stuffed animals that have a heartbeat and you put a little heating pack in them. And the first night when we brought him home, we gave him that when we put him in his crate and he just stared at us for like 10 seconds, like looking back and forth between the stuffed animal and us a little confused. Like he knows it's not a real puppy, but then he laid his head down on it and like I said, he slept all night and he still loves snuggling with it so much. So I would highly recommend that if you're getting a new puppy. We also have a blanket with his mom's scent, which I think really helps. Oh, he's waking up. He definitely loves to bite, especially toes. He loves toes so much. He also wants to eat all of the leaves on the ground when we go outside, especially if it's a bit windy out. But surprisingly, he doesn't really try to bite his leash when we're outside. I think that'll also probably change as he gets older. But he's doing so well on the leash. I didn't expect it all. We never did any practicing inside. It was just kind of his first experience because obviously he has to be on a leash in the city. I've been getting a lot of questions about all of his stuff. So I'm going to talk about it some in this video. I'll film some clips for you guys. So he's still wearing a collar from the breeder because a collar that we got him is still a little bit too big for him. We got him the walk kit from Wild One. We got a lot of stuff from Wild One. They have super cute things. It's like a black rubber. It's not leather leash and collar and a little coat bag kit. He also has some of his toys from there. I'll have everything linked down below. And then I got a black engraved dog tag just off of Etsy. But I'm sure you guys are gonna be seeing so much more of him. I'm so, so happy to have him. And I feel like we've already bonded so much. But I've been getting so many messages on Instagram to show him in a video. So first I'm gonna insert some clips of all of the puppy sort of essentials that I have. And then I'm gonna insert some clips of him. He gets the hiccups all the time, which is really cute. This is our day most of the time. Look at those ears. 
So one of the puppy essentials is this gate. We were really contemplating not even getting a gate. I kind of assumed that most of them would have to drill into the wall, but I found this wooden white gate on Amazon and I feel like it is not an eyesore really at all actually. It kind of blends in with the molding nicely. And this keeps him contained pretty much to this room. This is one of the only rooms he really gets to hang out in. He's in our bedroom sometimes in bed with us to cuddle. He sleeps in his crate at night. But this is really nice for keeping him contained to one space. It was like $40 on Amazon. We might have to switch it up as he gets older or hopefully as he gets older we don't need the gate anymore. But it's quite heavy. Not too easy to knock down. But I'm sure when he gets bigger he could definitely knock it down. His bed is from Snoozer. It's a cozy cave. All of the Vishalas on Instagram seem to love these beds. So that's what we ended up getting for him. He hasn't really gone in it yet. He loves to chew on his bed, but I think he will eventually. I didn't think he would like these rubber toys from Wild One yet because they're kind of heavy, but he is obsessed with them. So that's from one of their toy kits. And then he also loves his tennis balls and he has a couple different plushy toys that he loves. And he also really loves plastic bottles, which I don't have very often. He loves to chew on this mohair blanket, which is a bit of a problem, but I understand. He also really likes to chew on my boyfriend's beard. And I think it's kind of a similar texture. We also have a yoga mat under the credenza that he is obsessed with pulling out. I don't know how he's strong enough to pull it out. We put it under there so he couldn't access any of the cords, but we're definitely going to have to find a new solution. And then this has definitely been a must. He hasn't had too many accidents, but he's definitely a peeing machine, so this is good for cleaning up right away. And then we also have these earth-rated dog wipes to clean him up a bit after he's been outside, just his paws, so he doesn't get paw prints everywhere. Lazo, come. Sit. Stay. Stay, 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 come get it, good boy, good boy, good boy, that's so good baby, that's so good, that's all of it, that's all of it. for watching this video i hope you enjoyed oh i'll be sure to see you soon with a new vlog i think and i'm sure you'll be seeing more of him i'm pretty sure we will not be making an instagram for him but i do have a highlight on my instagram if you want any more laszlo content i know i am puppy obsessed i'm obsessed with like every dog i feel like i see on instagram so you can go check that out if you want and i hope you guys have a great week and i will see you super soon bye